Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this session. My name is Gabriel Kostake from Xperi. And I will present one of our initiatives in the area of next generation smart toys. First, allow me to introduce our company, Xperi. I don't know how many are familiar with, with us. At Xperi, we invent, develop, and deliver technologies to enable uh, <coughs> smarter experiences. We're a relatively new company. Uh, we're a host of brands. Some of the brands you might recognize, DTS, TiVo, HD Radio, IMAX Enhanced, Invences, and Tessera. Um, uh, under these um, these brands, we cover uh, we have a lot of coverage in um, uh, home entertainment, consumer devices, and automotive. I am part of the office of the CTO, and I am based in Galway, in uh, on the west coast of Ireland. Uh, at Xperi, we uh, invest a lot in R&D, trying to develop technologies for the products of tomorrow, and that's how we start to look into the smart toy market. And we started by analyzing what will be an ideal smart toy. Obviously, it has to be safe and secure. The other aspect is privacy. Privacy, uh, can, it's interpreted differently by, by everyone. We see uh, today uh, every person, some will accept the new products, new technologies easier than others. But when we're talking about toys, every parent will pay more attention to the privacy aspect. The, the toy ideally should help with the child development, uh, not to have only an entertainment aspect, definitely not to have a negative impact on the development. The other thing, to use natural interaction for the, uh, for, uh, the children. If you consider small children, like uh, two, three years old, the way they interact with us is uh, if you consider even a simple interaction when you expect a yes or a no answer from a child. This can come as an audio signal, yes, no, can come as a nodding, can come as a gesture, yes, no. Some extremes can come as uh, screaming and other uh, types of interaction. From a parent point of view, it uh, be ideally if you can monitor the child cognitive load as well. You, as a parent, you'll be interested to see if the child is, uh, is crying, is happy, if you're not next to it. Uh, it should develop the child uh, uh, and should be personalized for each child. Each child is different. The toy should also be uh, individual for that child. Uh, battery life, obviously very important if, uh, from an from experience point of view. If you have to charge the toy more that you play with it, it will have a negative impact. And another aspect is uh, uh, reusability. We know as, as parents, we buy lots and lots of toys, and uh, in the end, they all end up in a box somewhere. Now, with smart toys, they do have a lot of uh, capability inside. So uh, if you can consider additional use case for the kids, this might help as well. Uh, 